Hi everyone, I'm Ala Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Everybody Wants to Rule the World. And it sounds just like this. Okay, for this first part, I'm going to break down for you the intro, the first verse, the chorus, and also the post-chorus. We're playing in the key of D major. And for the chords here, we're going to start with A over D. Playing octave D on the left. A and C sharp right hand. So we're not playing the fifth simply the root and the third of A major. And then we have G over D. So same notes on the left, but for the right hand, I'm now playing G with B. Again, not playing the fifth, only the root and the major third. Then after that, we're going to see this. E minor, that's E, B, and E for the left. G and B right hand. Followed by this D6 over F sharp. So for the left, F sharp, D, F sharp, and B on your right hand. Then simply move up the F sharps by one half step to play G major. So G, D, G, and again B on the right hand. Okay, let's break down the intro of the song. And I'm going to divide it in two parts. Here's the first part of the intro. It goes like this. So, let me first break down this melody line we have right here. So, I'm playing with my thumb, F sharp, then with my index, A, back on F sharp, then B, third finger, back on F sharp, and then I'm going to finish on A. So this is played for one half a measure. For the other half, we simply have to repeat the same thing. So, one, two, three, four. So here's the entire measure. One, two, three, four. And now let's loop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the melody line. Then, we're actually going to start playing this movement on the right hand. So I have D, then A, D again, down here, one octave lower than the first one, 
then F sharp, D, and then A. On F sharp, I'm using my fourth finger, then index on D, thumb on A. And playing this A on my right hand, I will play at the same time D on my left, using my pinky. And then after that, I'm actually going to start the melody line on F sharp using my left hand. Okay, so F sharp, third finger on the left hand. And I'm going to continue playing the melody line directly after that with A, second finger on the right hand. Once again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to play this melody line for four measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. So if you noticed, I'm switching on the last A and I'm going to use my pinky. Just like this. That will make things easier for me to continue with the next pattern of this intro. Which is this one. So, one more time for the first part of the intro. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, now for the second part of this intro. I'm playing octave D on my left, so I'm starting to use A over D and then G over D. So for the left, I'm going to use eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'm going to play two notes on the bottom and then two notes on the top. One and two and three and four and. And I'm simply going to loop from here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So that's for the left. On the right hand, I'm going to play A and C sharp on the first beat then G and B on the end of the second. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Perfect, let's add the left. One and two and three and four. So notice that I'm playing G and B with the second D on my left. One and, sorry, one and two and. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four and one. A little bit faster. Two, three, four. One and two and three. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And 
to finish this intro, we're going to play that same pattern for eight measures, back to back. So play and repeat that to and the intro. And then after that, we're going to go to the section of the verse. And pretty much it will be the same thing as the second part of the intro, but here, I'm playing the pattern on the left on one note, the tap D. And I'm going to switch fingers on my left between my index and thumb. So, two notes with each finger. So, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And on the right hand, I'm still playing the same thing. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So we're going to play and repeat that for the entire verse. Two, three, four. We're starting the section of the chorus with E minor, D6 of F sharp, and G. It goes like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, I'm going to play the same melody line that the singer is singing with my right hand. So I'm starting with the E minor chord, and then I'm going to play F sharp, B, A, and then back on B with D6 or F sharp. One, two, three, four, then from here, simply repeat the same movement, F sharp, B, A, back on B, now with G on the left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and now we have this. I played F sharp, E, D, B, A, F sharp, back on A. So that's after G. From the top. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then to finish the chorus. One, two, three, four. So I played F sharp, and then directly after that, on the third beat, I'm playing D6 over F sharp. One, two, three, four. Next measure, I'm on G. One, two, three, four. So right hand, B, A, F sharp, E. One, two, three, four. And on the third beat, on the left, I'm going to move up and play 1A. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the chorus. One more time from the top. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four. And then directly after that, we're going to start the section of the post covers. And we're going to replay what we had in the second part of the intro, so this. And we're going to do that for four measures. So let's replay the chorus followed by the post chorus. Slow tempo. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, and three, and four, and one, two. Three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's replay the intro, verse, chorus, and post chorus at full speed. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.